pinball, Aaron. Yes, pinball bro. FX3. <laughs> yes. So there's been a a, a slight kerfluffle amongst the uh, pinball aficionados out there that pinball FX3 has censored some of its tables. It is a kerfluffle. I agree with you on that. Um, some of the things that they've done have been uh, removed uh, cans of beer from uh, table art and uh, back glass art. They've removed um, incidences of tobacco use among the goblins. Yeah, um, uh, uh, particularly bodacious women have yes, seen their... Yes, less uh, than clothed women have become more clothed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you are a, you've been playing pinball machines a long time. That's true. Since you were a wee lad. I've been doing everything I've ever done a long time. <laughs> also true. Um, and so I, I, I wanted to get your <laughs> thoughts on: Do you think that it was? Uh, do you think that it was kosher for pinball the pin the Zen folks to remove these elements to protect children from uh, the uh, more adult themes in in on these tables? I'll tell you, Boat. Uh, I, I'm glad they did it. I think that it's great that more kids get. No, I hated it. <laughs> I hated it so much. Um, you know, when I first read this uh, early in the week, I lost my mind briefly. And I've had a chance to gather my thoughts uh, in, the, in the ensuing uh, couple days. Um, you can understand why a company would decide that they needed to censor out certain things from certain games. Uh, uh, that said... Uh, the fact that you would censor the most mundane things uh, from a from a pinball machine is a sign of the times. It's a sign of the times that we live in, where any mention of anything that anybody could find the least bit offensive is ixnayed. Uh, I read a statement from the people over at Zen that said, "I guess they had gotten caught on the carpet by the ESR, was it ESRB." Mm -hmm. Uh, for something previously uh, on one of their tables or in one of their bits of software. And so now they're taking no chances. Uh, and uh, the powers that be put their foot down and 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 now they're gonna they're gonna err on the side of caution. and which that's their prerogative because they bought the rights to these and Williams, uh, which is the the pill machines we're talking about are the Williams machines, which are the really the only ones that could be, uh, censored because the other machines they make, they made. Mm -hmm. And so these are recreations of machines. Now, is this the first time this has happened? No. Uh, if you look back to the people who own Pinball Arcade, uh, when uh, they did a Kickstarter to have the Adams Family featured on there, and they had to use that money from the Kickstarter or from the whatever, I think it was a Kickstarter, to, to pay for the license, the movie license for the Adams Family to distribute that table. Because the lights and the same thing they did for Doctor Who, they did the same thing for Twilight Zone. I believe even Ghostbusters was the same thing. And so, um, one of the issues with the uh, Adams family is that uh, Christopher Lloyd negotiated separate. Like his voice is in the game, and his and his de him depicted as uh, Uncle Fester is in the game, and they could not reach an agreement with Christopher Lloyd, and so they had to change the way Fester looked. They had to change the Fester's audio uh, as well. So a clear, uh, I wouldn't call that censoring because it was, it was done, their hand was forced uh, to, to, be, to, to, to uh, change the, uh, the content. But it was still a lot of uh, people were not happy. Uh, but at least in a situation like that, you could understand uh, that they couldn't, I mean, you can't pay a guy I know X amount of money specifically because he does it because he's just angling for more cash, you know, which I'm right. guessing is what the deal was. <coughs> or maybe he wasn't happy with his role. You never know. Uh, but if you flash forward to this uh, pinball FX issue, uh, this is just straight up preventive maintenance so they don't have to worry about getting hammered by uh, a, a, a group that monitors. Uh, the uh, age restrictions on games. Yeah, uh, so. it's it's kind of interesting because obviously publishers have no qualms about putting um, adult content into games these days. I mean, it's, it's super it's, adult. Yeah, yeah, it's it's is definitely as extreme as it's ever been, thanks to the advances in graphics and everything like that. <laughs> yeah. So what I wondered was, you know, what 
Why do the Zen folks want to strive so hard to get that sort of like E, you know,、uh, rating? Well, why why would they not make their game rated T and then have beside of it, you know, suggestive themes, use of alcohol, use of tobacco, or something like that? Well, I'm guessing that their all their tables are E, right? Okay, and this is probably it's one of those situations where you. You want the the largest audience you can have.、Mm-hmm. You also want people to be、uh, happy with the fact that they can let their kids pick any table and play it,、mm-hmm. uh, and not have to worry about that sort of thing. Which is I can understand all that. Definitely a, an issue with the, some of the meme setups that we've seen <laughs>、yeah. over the years. But that much said,、uh, like you said, I've played pinball for a long time. I'm not the only one that thinks this way. Because I mean, this has been sort of an outcry this week. That so much so that、uh, the people at Pinball FX or the the people that、uh, at Zen you know sent back a, a, a message.、Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, this is true. But pinball to me, aside from the fact that it's a game, this is a playable art piece. And when you go and start monkeying with this, I get very concerned. And it's not because I'm some sort of hoody, horny, snorty. Art critic type or someone that knows a lot. I mean, it, but I mean, where do we draw the line between what's acceptable in a pinball game and what's not?、Uh, like you said, there are, today we live in the society that is so out of kilter. I mean, you've got a game like God of War that series where it's just it's just straight up porn going on, or, or Grand Theft Auto where you're shoot and no and uh, uh, people are fairly content with it, but the rating you know is there. And you've got a pinball game where we're having to worry about censoring、uh, um, a beer can,、mm-hmm. or I mean, these are parts of the games. And there's some games under this.、Uh, if you look at the games this way, that will not be reproduced strictly on the basis that it would be too big a hassle. Oh yeah, to, and I、uh, mean, yeah, I think that what we're seeing now in pinball is what we've seen for years with certain movies. So you know, like Song of the South. You know, that movie will never be reprinted and redistributed again. It's well, I. It's it's a it's a tragedy for people. I own、uh, a Williams pinball machine. I own a、so、couple of them. You own one. And if you see a recreation, and let's say this, like yours, for example, I'm looking at it over here. Yours has a depiction of like an Indian、uh, on it, for example, I believe, or uh, or uh, or well, someone、yeah, from Middle, Middle East, Middle Eastern people. And I've also there's a, there's a girl smoking a cigarette. Right. If、there. if suddenly they decide, okay, we don't want to offend. And God knows what we're、mm-hmm. just going to take this guy out or change the way he looks. Someone drew that、uh, that piece of work there, and when you go and monkey with it, people going forward haven't if they haven't seen the original will never know what was、right. going on in the first Now, place. We we say that, but however, this thing has already happened and has always happened in pinball because companies would frequently reskin games and put them out as that's true.、Games. But th- but that's but they wouldn't put them out as the same game. Well, there's a lot of games that are the exact same game with different. But、audience. I mean, they w- didn't do that because they were censoring the game. No, they did it because they were they wanted to make more money. Which I mean, this is the this is the funny thing about it. it, it it's is a sort of a, a circular pattern here. Uh, I, they weren't. This is a different issue than what you're talking about. These people were trying to get as much. They were squeezing as much money as they could out of the same design,、mm-hmm. effectively.、Um, I guess I would also be a little less pissed off if they'd been more upfront about what they were doing with the editing of this stuff. They it sort of got found out, and then they had to come back. It's the same old sad tale. They didn't want to mention it, and all. And we're not going to have a separate version for older people. You know, which is that's well, you still got, again,、well. again, if it's the ESCRB, <laughs> then you'd have to rate it up. Again, it's no. You think it's different, but it's not. These guys bought the license to these tables. They want to squeeze as much money as they can out of these tables. And the people that crunch the numbers say we have to make it rated I, listen, if we want to do. It. I didn't say it wasn't the same. It is. I know it's the same. Uh, but I don't have to. I don't have to like it to be honest sure, with you. Sure. Yeah. You had a.、Uh, uh, uh, You had these same tables released a year ago, and they did pretty well.、Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there's a similar argument going on right now in wrestling. There's a big show. By the time this airs, which I think this will air pretty soon, right? Yeah, this、uh, is going to go think, out tonight. I think it's November third. There's a wrestling show in Saudi Arabia in the in the in the in the kingdom.、Uh, it's a it's called the Crown Jewel, and it's, and it's part of a 
series, it's a part of a contract that WWE signed with uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar to run shows over the next 10 years. Yeah, they've it's been a, doing it for a while. Right? No, they've had one. They've this only had one. one, okay. Now, they've been going there for a while, but this is okay. this contract. And so, <coughs> it's been rumored this contract is a half billion dollar contract over 10 years. Mm-hmm. And of course, we've had this recent tragedy with the journalists getting murdered and right. possibly being killed by the Saudi family or government. And so people are upset that they're going. Uh, and it comes, it's a very similar situation. Uh, so often the profitable thing to do is not the right thing to do. And uh, I think both these issues fall into that category. It's ever. It, there is no doubt that deleting beer cans and cleavage, and and packs of smokes is something that will make you more money because you can release it uh, to everyone. Right? But is it the right thing to do? I don't think that matters when there's money to be made. But it's not the right thing to do, and certainly not doing it without telling anybody. That's the real thing that really mm-hmm. bothers me. They could have at least said, "Listen." You know, we want, and he did in his statement, he says, listen, I want my daughter to play fishtails mm-hmm. or whatever. And when you're an old crotchety bum like me, this is the kind of crap you got to put up with because it's just the way the world is. Now, let me, let, let, let me say that I understand what you're saying, mm-hmm. but nobody, it's not like they, they're making you buy <laughs> this thing blind and then you discover it. This game's free. You know, pin, uh, the Pinball FX3, you can play these tables free. You know, it's a demo, but you can see everything that's on offer. So nobody can say, I bought this game thinking it would be uncensored and look at it, it's censored. No, you know, you can play these things now for free <laughs> for a limited time. So there is that aspect of it. Well, you're right. And and I might add that when I first, I, I, I was a pretty big fan of the Pinball Arcade series. And, and I'm not a big fan of Zen Pinball. And when I actually tried the new tables that have been ported over, which again was Fishtails uh, and uh, uh, what help me out here, Bo- Medieval, Madness. Medieval Madness. And two more that I can't recall. Uh, yeah, it's, I can't I think High Speed was wasn't High mm-hmm. Speed one. And I told you, I said, listen, you got to try these. They're surprisingly good. I was very surprised and impressed. But a lot of this stuff, you're not gonna, you're not gonna just find out, you don't even notice it the first couple of times you play. I mean, you can't deny it. I've played, uh, 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 I've played a lot of these games. Many times, Medieval Madness, I've played a zillion times. I didn't notice upon first play that they had changed some of the dialogue. Maybe you know, maybe I never even would have gotten to the point where I've heard it. But I mean, they did that. Some things have been changed. I noticed some subtle changes in it in the the way things, the the way the sounds kicked off you know but i thought well okay I, there's who could say it's the first time i've played it maybe mm-hmm. it's a, just it maybe it's a different who knows what different rom right. or whatever but i mean some of the stuff you're not just going to notice it right away if you're and, and really let's 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 get down to brass tacks am i going to notice that uh the hot chick in medieval madness has had her uh uh boob sort of semi erased or whatever Unless I really get in there and look, you're not looking at that. You're probably not going to even notice right. some of this stuff. There's, a, but there's a certain amount of it that's a principle. But in some of it, you're all going to notice when they take out certain calls that mm-hmm. you're used to hearing. Sure. When they take out certain missions or take change accents mm-hmm. or stuff like that, then you're going to notice. And then it's, it's people are going to be like, "Wait a minute, this isn't like I remember it." Right. And it becomes a deal. So I mean, yes, not everyone's going to notice every little tiny pixel difference. But still, there's enough there to where it's something that that should be addressed. That's mm-hmm. all I'm saying. Yeah, I, I I do agree with you. They <laughs> should have come out when they released this and and just you know put out a PSA just saying, listen, in order to keep this at the rating where we want to sell it, we had to make these changes. Yeah. Sorry, you know. Listen, and, and I will occasionally, and Bo will test this. I can occasionally cuss up a blue streak if I'm particularly agitated that day. But when we do these shows, we made we didn't even talk about it, but we made sort of a, a conscious agreement not to go in here and, and go crazy, right? Now, normally, if you met me on the street, I might not be uh, uh, so non-foul-mouthed, right? But I do it because it's it, we want everyone, more people to be able to listen to the show. So I can understand the same concept in pinball. But a little disclosure would be nice. Yeah. And even uh, the ability... And this would be no tough feat, considering what they've already done, to just 
have a, a parent code in that lets you just fix the changes just like they turn on off the effects. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Mm -hmm. It's Is it going to make you a bunch of money? Pinball people are an interesting bunch. And uh, uh, you may, it may, I mean, it's been news. So there's something there. Right. Is this going to cost them millions and billions? Of I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. The people over at Pinball Arcade tried their best to cater to the pinball crowd mm -hmm. with varying degrees of success. So they're definitely a, a, a big enough voice to where their mood is important to the people making this Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. So Absolutely. That's my, like I said, I was much more angry about it then. I mean, I know the score. A lot of it's sort of irrelevant. Uh, but... It's something that needs to be brought up and at least discussed. I think it's an interesting thing to just talk about.